everybody, my name is Joshua. I'd like to thank you guys for joining me at the fourth episode of JFL's Weekly Wrap Up, where I give you all the WWE news there is to offer. And big news, I have a new host. Here she is. Hello everybody, my name is Moana, and I'm just joining Joshua today. Alright, Moana. Okay. First topic, John Cena is one of the four nominees for a Sports Humanitarian of the Year at the ESPN Awards show. The show will be taped on July 14th and aired on July 23rd. So congratulations to John Cena. I hope you win. Your input. Congratulations, John Cena. I mean, it's definitely not a shocker. Um, so of course it's not. Yeah, not at all. Um, I'm sure he'll win. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Next topic. Triple H, a, Triple H, a nearly four minute video on YouTube shows unseen footage from Triple H's WrestleMania 31 entrance. Triple H also teases SummerSlam week is about to get bigger. I'm really excited to see what Triple H has planned. Your input. I'm definitely excited. Um, I'm sure whatever it is, is going to be awesome. I'm sure that it's probably not just about the SummerSlam itself um, because it does say SummerSlam week so who knows what that could mean. Alrighty. Next. Mickey James has stated in a recent interview that if she had the opportunity to return to the WWE she would do just that. Well I personally am a fan of Mickey James. I would really like her to come back. Your input. Mickey James. I think it'd be Since pretty cool. when? <laughs> I liked her when she was feuding with Michelle, McCall, and Layla. I liked that. The whole Piggy James and, you know, <laughs> all that that was going on. It was pretty cool. I think it'd be pretty cool if she came back and she would definitely... How do you remember Piggy James? Because I definitely remember that. <laughs> I think that if she came back, then she would definitely give the divas that are there now a run for their money. Nikki Bella officially became the second longest reigning divas champ. Nikki Bella officially became the second longest <laughs> reigning divas champ. She is second behind AJ Lee's 295-day reign. On June 28th, she surpassed Maurice's 216-day reign. Well, I personally don't like Nikki Bella. I hope Paige takes the championship from her. But, still, congratulations, Nikki Bella. Your input. I mean, sure. Congratulations, Nikki, but... We're both not big I'm, fans of her. Yeah. Yeah. I think that she's probably the worst Divas champion <laughs> that there ever has been. I apologize to Nikki Bella <laughs> if one of you ever tweet this to her. <laughs> Alright. I want a match with Nikki Bella at WrestleMania. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Chris Jericho is featured on a new trailer for Sharknado 3. I don't know much about Sharknado, but if you guys can direct message me on Twitter at JoshJones326 then I would like to know about Sharknado. Your input. What is that, like a, like a Jaws type of movie? How am I supposed to know? I've never seen it. I don't know. And I'm not going to watch it now either. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Kurt Angle. <laughs> Moving on. Alright. The former WWE current TNA superstar announced that he has to get a okay. He has to get a tumor removed from his neck. This isn't funny. You can't laugh while you're reading it. I'm not laughing at that. So Kurt Angle has announced that he has to have a tumor removed from his neck. 
The 46-year-old did not yet state if the tumor is cancerous. Cancerous. Or not. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, that's very unfortunate. Definitely hope that everything will be fine. And I'm sure that we'll see him in the ring again soon. This big man reportedly has already booked six matches for WrestleMania 32. Daniel Bryan and The Undertaker are not yet included. Cena is included in one match, but his opponent is unknown. Well, of course John Cena is going to be booked in WrestleMania. I mean, it, right now it couldn't be WrestleMania without John Cena, <laughs> I'm guessing, right now. Well, at the rate they're going, his, his opponent's going to end up being... Kevin Owens, because we see the same matches over and over again. Um, Apparently, yeah. And it's just terrible. They have to come up with something different. But, um, I did hear that there could be um, a match between Stephanie McMahon and Triple H versus The Rock and Ronda Rousey. So that's... That would probably be pretty cool, I think. That would be... Great, because I could definitely see Triple H and Stephanie getting their butt whoops. So, butt whoops. <laughs> their butts whoop. <laughs> but, um, and then, again, um, also a possibility is singles matches. So, Stephanie versus Ronda in one match, and then Triple H versus The Rock in one match. So, again, that would lead to Stephanie and Triple H getting their butts whoop. <laughs> or, one time and one time only she is my host <laughs> or um, just a, Steph, um, a Triple H versus The Rock alright Dolph Ziggler was previously reported to have a sign a, sign a new multi-year contract with WWE I have learned that appears to be false and negotiations are still underway um, so there has not been a contract signed yet. Well, I still hope Dolph Ziggler stays here. Because uh, I think he's really awesome. I like the whole Lana and Dolph storyline. I mean, I definitely think um, that they're kind of giving Dolph a little push. And it's probably because he was threatening to leave. My input really is is that they're pro kind of doing this to Lana more than Dolph. That's a good point. That's a good point. It could be. Alright. Stardust is supposed to return this coming week. Reports that his SummerSlam match with actor Stephen O'Mell has been cancelled due to unknown reasons. Well, I personally didn't want to see the match, so... Whatever. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't even know that there was supposed to be a match between the two of them. So yeah, again, I could care less. I mean, cause why is the actor even? Yeah, wrestling. <laughs> I have no problem with Stardust, just like the actor. Like I don't get that. What is WWE thinking? Yeah, I mean, I'm hearing that. A possibility for the reason of the cancellation could be because, you know, Everyone Dusty Rose, it sucked. <laughs> Dusty Rose, you know, unfortunately passed away not long ago. Um, so that could be some of the reason why it was canceled. But if he's returning, then... I think yeah. the reason why they canceled the match is because everyone think it would suck. <laughs> yeah, no one wants to see that. <laughs> Jimmy Lusso will be replacing Brian Saxton as Byron. Byron. Byron <laughs> Saxton as commentator. Hey, hey, how about you do this while I just sit here and put my input Listen. on it? You do it. I'm just I guess I can definitely do it better than you. Um. So, reports are saying that Jimmy Uso is going to be replacing Byron Saxton for a while on SmackDown as commentator. So there's no word on when, you know, that's going to end. But, of course, we all know that Jay Uso is out with an injury. So I'm assuming until he returns. Oh, 
I wasn't listening. I kind of zoned out after I handed the cards to you. So, oh. so okay. <laughs> uh, what was the topic? Oh, the Jimmy Uso. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry to Jay Uso. I hope he comes back soon. And they start nailing it with Jay Uso and Jimmy Uso, the Uso brothers. Yeah, they're funny together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, total divas. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whoa. You. <laughs> so, the last topic. 2K16. The cover of 2K16 is supposed to be revealed on Monday Night Raw. On Tomorrow. Tomorrow. July 6th. Tomorrow. <laughs> Say tomorrow. Tomorrow. July, July 6th. Alright. On Monday Night Raw. Okay. This is gonna this has been one of my worst news reports ever. <laughs> but I had a good time doing it. <laughs> well, about the cover. MTK sixteen. I mean There is no doubt in my mind that it is going to be Roman Reigns on the cover of 2K16. I'll buy the game just to look at him. I'm going to have the game because my mom's going to order it for me. Okay. <laughs> this is my mom in real life. Yes. You should probably know because I have announced that in one of my videos before. Yes. Alrighty. Mom, manager, everything. You're my host. Sure. My host. Who? Please like this video, leave your comments, and subscribe to Joshua's channel. And Joshua's figure lane. JFL's <laughs> weekly wrap up is over. <laughs>